here we move on to module number three peripheral devices and interfacing as we will talk about some interfacing chips that are used for interfacing specific devices with the microprocessor this include programmable peripheral interface which is a chip consisting of three different input or output ports i have already mentioned you while we talked about the instruction set of 8085 generally input or output devices will be connected to the microprocessor not directly but through certain kind of registers referred to as ports if it is used for connecting an input device such a port is referred to as an input port if it is used to connect an output device instead of telling this word connect we must tell it say interface if it is used to interface an output device then it's referred to as an output port then we'll talk about another interfacing device used for real-time applications this is programmable interval timer counter come interval timer we will have to talk about counter come interval timer intel 8253 programmable dma controller used for helping the microprocessor in performing direct memory access data transfer intel 8257 another one to control interrupt system of 8085 that is Intel 8259. Then ADC interfacing how an analog to digital converter can be interfaced with the microprocessor. Then we will wind up the module with the interfacing of seven segment LED display. Before going to deal with uh, the content of this module we will have to first of all talk about the interfacing or the concept of interfacing any application that for which we will be using the microprocessor require transference of data as well as information between the microprocessor and the external world between the microprocessor and the external world generally this external world is the term used for a set of devices that are physically connected with the microprocessor this set of devices that are interface of course hardware components that are connected physically by means of electrical contact with the microprocessor is generally referred to as peripheral devices so for any application based on microprocessor we require data transference between the peripherals and the microprocessor so for example you can submit data to the microprocessor using a keyboard and the user can see the result displayed by the microprocessor or information displayed by the microprocessor using a display so without this kind of peripheral device you will not be able to work with the microprocessor because in order to send data as well as information to the microprocessor you require one set of peripheral devices and in order to receive the information for the processed data processed by the microprocessor we require another set of peripheral devices for the display of these results generally these peripheral devices will have some different nature comparing with the microprocessor so whenever we are going to talk about the act of connecting a peripheral device with the microprocessor instead of physically connecting these devices we will have to account for a connection between the microprocessor and the peripheral device which is such that the microprocessor is able to recognize this device having some different characteristics comparing with it as some devices that are being connected with the processor this act 
of connecting a device having mismatching nature with respect to the microprocessor in a recognizable manner is referred to as interfacing. The act of interfacing is required or is a necessity due to the mismatch of these peripheral devices with the microprocessor in terms of three different aspects. These are a peripheral device often shows a mismatch comparing with the microprocessor in terms of its electrical characteristics in terms of the data type that the peripheral device will be opting which is different from the data type being opted by the microprocessor and of course in terms of the data format the electrical characteristics microprocessor as you know is basically a digital electronic device that will recognize only two status logic low and logic high always it require to have be having been supplied with a digital electrical signal however a peripheral device incorporated with the microprocessor need not be necessarily having this digital electronic characteristics if it's an electrical device most often it assumed to have analog electrical characteristics that will recognize an analog signal either a sinusoidal oscillation or a triangular oscillation etc so the device that is interfaced with the microprocessor having electrical characteristics that is analog electrical characteristics needed to be supported with some aid that will overcome the mismatch between the peripheral device and the microprocessor in terms of their electrical characteristics and in some occasions say in the case of particularly input output devices the electrical characteristics may be non-electrical that is the device may not be an electrical device as such it can be a mechanical device so the device will have an entirely different characteristics comparing with the microprocessor. This mismatch needed to be overcome through the act of interfacing. The second mismatch often arises in terms of the data type. Microprocessor require data in terms of boolean expression that will be consisting of logic high and logic low. An electrical device, even if it is having some semiconductor characteristics, an electrical device that happens to be a peripheral connected with the microprocessor need not opt this kind of a data type. So this mismatch in terms of the data type of the peripheral and the microprocessor needed to be overcome. Data format. For a specific microprocessor, the data format also will be specific. Say for example, for an 8-bit microprocessor, you require data and information to be supplied to it as an 8-bit or 1-byte data. Either this will be connected or will be supplied to the processor using some hexadecimal code. And if you are using a different assembler, you can submit this data as well as information using a high level language as well however depending upon the assembler that is being used for coding this mnemonic or high level language code to the binary code then there also require a connecting link that will be capable of overcoming the mismatch between the microprocessor and its peripheral in terms of the data format. To get around this difficulty, often we will be connecting the peripheral devices with the microprocessor using some special interfacing chips or interfacing elements or interfacing circuitries. We will be focusing on some of these interfacing circuitries in this module. First of all, the various input or output devices that are to be connected with the microprocessor. 
will be achieving this contact in terms of a special purpose interfacing chip again manufactured by intel corporation this is intel 8255 chip which is often used for the interfacing of peripheral devices either input device or output device of any particular characteristics and is a device that can be programmed also that is why this is often given the name programmable peripheral interface or it can also be treated as an adapter between the input or output device and the microprocessor for connecting peripheral devices hence this is further referred under the title peripheral interface adapter one of the very important feature that make 8085 microprocessor a renowned microprocessor is that besides this processor intel corporation has also manufactured a very large number of interfacing chips that are compatible with this processor of course for the interfacing of varied categories of devices <coughs> And Intel 8255 is such a device. We have to say input output device is a microprocessor. We have to say that the mismatching is a device. We have to say that the device is a microprocessor. So, for example, we have an input device or a scanner. So, we have an optical device. That is scanned by the light and the microprocessor. That light is corresponding to the light of an electrical signal. Then, the light is a dark shadow and the light is a low intensity. The intensity variation is corresponding to the current. ये कारण तो सब आयोग में इटो रहना एनालॉग का कारण दाई दिखे हो एनालॉग कारण दिने डिजिटल आके इटो कन्वर्ट है जाना इन्हें टेक इटना ये डिजिटल कारण दिने बोलियन लेके कोड चाहिए जाना हाँ कोड चाहिए तो वैल्यू माइक्रोप्रोसेसर ने रीड ये नाम इन्हें डंगल आप कोडम आदिने बोलियन वैल्यू आकी मा� because this device has different characteristics and it has an electrical conductor in the processor and it has an electrical conductor in the processor and it has an 8-bit synchronous data and it has an 8-bit synchronous data That is why this input device is connected to the microprocessor and it has an accessible memory location and it has an accessible memory location and it has an accessible memory location तेरी चीज़ एक आउटपुट डिवाइस ले के डाटा के टन्ना तो अंगने तन्नी है ना अब हम माइक्रोप्रोसेसर ले के ये पर लल्ला डाटा गुड कुन्नो आप पर लल्ला ना हमारे रूप एट्ट बिटे रजिस्टर के ये इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइस में माइक्रोप्रोसेसर उन दम में लल्ला बफर आई टे कनेक्टिंग लिंग आई टी यूज़ है Indonesia Kilimеч Programmable Peripheral Interface, PPI, அல்லைகில் Programmable Interface, Programmable Interface Adapter, என்ன ஒரு டைத்தில்ல இதிவைசினைப் பெட்டி படிக்கான்லாது, Intel 8255. Intel 8255 is a multi-port device. 